Hi, I'm Jimmy. And I play for Giles Severs, Willow Jackson, Alan's number, and a couple more. <laughs> So I got my first kit when I was maybe like nine years old and I've been playing drums ever since, so that's 21 now, 12 years, 12 years. So first song I learned to play was probably, well first, first song I attempted to learn to play was uh, American Idiot by Green Day, because that whole, that whole album was what started like everything like so. Yeah, probably probably the, the main one, American Idiot, the first single, and then the rest of the album after that. <laughs> Our first band that I was in was uh, like a punk rock, like hardcore sort of band called Lee Harvey Oswald that I started with my brother when I was like 14 or 15, back when we were like in school. I went for a couple of years, played a couple of the gigs. My, my favourite drummer, I thought about this one a lot, is it's either going to be Abe Cunningham from Deftones because he's the man and the drum tones are just insane and his linear grooves are class and I've learned so much from like watching and listening to him play. And then another one would be, because I couldn't decide between the two of them, so another one would be Eddie Thrower who used to play for Laurel Atlantis, uh, now he plays for Busted oddly enough, but his Instagram videos make me cry, <laughs> they're so good, he's so good. Probably the best gig, or one of the best gigs ever played, was when the first time Jazz of the Birds went to Texas to play South by Southwest, and uh, we were playing, it was the, the British Embassy, and it was like the, the UK like night for it, so everyone had arrived to watch like UK music in America, and we were on maybe like I think we were on like second and I was pretty packed house like and I was so 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 nervous going on and the second like you know like you hit the first note and you're like this is gonna be fine like immediately it was one of the best shows I've ever played like like it, it went from it took me from feeling like I was like in like a wee a small band and like just started about fast like and I'm trying my best to like no this is what I do now like it was like a really big experience like it was cool. The worst gig I ever played. I'll not, I'll not name the band because it's it's pretty bad. Like, but um, I was doing a, a standing gig for a pop punk band, and we were doing a gig in a hotel in Armagh. And I didn't really know much about the gig at the time. And it turned up, and it turned out to be a fundraiser for a Romanian family who their child had gone missing. And it was like a fundraiser to raise money to help the search party, like for the child. And there was apps like we were like a pop punk band. Absolutely no one there that gave a shit about pop punk at all, and um, just loads of kids running about, really uncomfortable setting. So we, we were like, okay, we'll do the set, we'll get it over with, we'll go home. Like, this is a weird one already. And a uh, guitar player, who, like rhythm guitar player who's doing the vocals, uh, breaks a string two seconds into the song, goes to take the guitar off to set it down so he can just carry on doing the vocals. And when he's setting the guitar down, catches the other guitar player's vocal mic, like the lead of it and his mic stand comes tumbling down. So we've got a broken guitar string, we've got a mic stand flying, we're one song into the set and there's just loads of children like throwing paper airplanes in the front row. And I, the second I got on that stage, I just wanted to get off it again. <laughs> like it was terrible. <laughs> it's always sort of, it's, it's always sort of been there. Like even before I got my first kit or anything, I was always like hitting, you know, pots and pans and annoying my mum and, begging her begging her for years for like to get the drum kit like so I finally got it like and it was like all I ever wanted to do but I think when I got a little bit older maybe like 16 17 I really started to notice the what what would happen is I'd notice when I'm not playing drums like if I go a week without playing drums my like frustration and aggression towards anything would just go through the roof and I'm like what the like what's going on why do I feel this way and I go play drums and like two hour session and playing D beats and blast beats and sweating like fucking I'd be 100% again, like, and so I, I do. I do think it. There's definitely a point to say about how much it like helps your mental health. And like, like if you're struggling with it, if you're struggling with it, buy some drums. You will not regret it. It's a it's a good way to get it out of you, like, and if, like, and there's creative outlets and emotional outlets. Like, 
it's just a it's just a good thing to be doing if you're feeling that way rather than you know drinking too much or doing something stupid like that like you know it's a productive way to rather than talking to someone I don't know some people aren't into that like I play drums so that's what I do <laughs>